Hello guys, it's me, Imi. And guess what? I went to Miku Expo 2024. When I finally got there, the line was super long. I really wish I got there more early. I didn't even dare to go buy merch uh, when I got there in fear that the stadium will get more full. But I was there and I have a lot to talk about. Especially because I, I have gone to Miku Expo 2018, <laughs> not 2020, 2018, and the experiences were very different and mostly negative, not gonna lie. So, um, I went to the one in Dallas, which is the, the factory in Deep Ellen, I, I think that's how you say it. And let's, let's talk about the choice of the place. So, in my opinion, if you are willing to be standing up, a cheaper option, if you're willing to stand up, that's okay. Um, and if I just highly recommend that you come very, very early for a really good place to see Hatsune Miku as, as well as the rest of the Krypton Lloyds. Because if you don't, um, I mean, if you don't, you're just going to be further away, right? You're going to be further away, but you're also going to be like skin to skin with other people. I know some people are not comfortable with that idea and I know because when I was there I I'm okay with it but when I was there I did see some people that that got overstimulated and I felt really bad so that's another thing so in my opinion if you live in Texas and you want to go see Hatsune Miku like on a, like the next Miku Expo I highly recommend a different concert uh like not not Deep Ellen not the factory in Deep Ellen because because of those reasons um, I think I would highly recommend just go to Austin. I think Austin have better uh, choices. I think they have like seats and, and yeah. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the concert itself. So the concert started, it, it's at 8 p.m. But it started 30 minutes later, which is it's it's normal for concerts to start like later. I don't know about 30 minutes though. But uh, after it, when it finally started, it introduced all the six characters the same format as miku expo 20 2018 but i don't know if it's my memory but i feel like 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 it was faster like it was rushed i don't know if it had to do with the 30 minutes thing but it did feel like it was like and then and then okay miku and then kaido and then finally miku right i don't know it just felt too quick like it didn't like rush it was very rushed in my opinion compared to miku expo 2018 28 the 2018 one um it was more yeah it was more suspenseful and the pace felt more appropriate uh, they they took their time with every character while the audience was you know screaming and getting excited when miku finally comes out as introduction um she starts with the song miku of course by Anna Managuchi and I think this is a good song to start for various reasons it's famous it's iconic everybody knows the song and not only that but if like if there's people who bought tickets for Miku Expo not knowing about Miku I feel like that song is like a like a good example of like who Miku is like that she's you know electronic robotic internet girl right so it's a good start and you can apply that to like the rest of the characters too so the same thing applies with the kagamine kagamines with meiko luka so after miku the rest of the characters get their turn to sing and everybody sings like i guess in order like starts with the kagamines and then after kagamine it's kaito and then it's meiko but then after meiko everybody was expecting luka right but no, it was Miku. And it was Miku again. And it was Miku again. <laughs> and the audience was like, where's Luca? So so yeah, for some reason Luca was not there for a really long while. I don't know, they were trying to um, like make it suspenseful. Like I don't know, but it, it to me it felt like they forgot about Luca. <laughs> I just I don't know. And Luca had two songs. One song by by herself and another song with Miku, which is good, I think. And then, so all the characters sang, right? Everybody sang their songs. Uh, I'm gonna put the set list on the screen, so you, just so you guys know what, what songs they sang. And then, 
I'm gonna finally gonna talk about the screen. So when I bought the tickets, I originally, I was originally thinking, I'm gonna see the holograms again. Like that was my, uh, and I think a lot of fans also thought the same thing. They were thinking, yes, I'm gonna show my friends. Like if they're inviting friends or family, they're gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to this concert and they're gonna see holograms and it's not gonna, it's not like a, it's not an actual like person, it's holograms. So that was my original intention as well. Like not only am I gonna see like them sing, I'm gonna see them in this hologram form, which I, I've been wanting to see them again for such a long time. So when I found out that they weren't doing holograms this time, they're, they were doing an LED, LED screen, I, I'll admit, and I, it's true, I, am, I was very disappointed. Uh, I was like, my hype for the concert just completely disintegrated. People, many people are blaming it on the on Crunchyroll. I don't know if that's true or not, but whatever the case, Whatever the case, and I have to talk about this too. Um, I think Instagram. I don't know if it's me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I can't find the comments. But I I remember going to the pictures because their uh, Miku Instagram was posting pictures of the Miku Expo. Like when they finished. Like uh, thank you Dallas. No sorry. Thank you uh, Denver. Thank you. I don't know. And then in the comment section. <laughs> It was, it was it was like a bunch of really angry fans and then today I went to go check if they were there and I think they're gone so I think they're <laughs> I think they're silencing fans I could be very wrong I could be very very wrong I don't know but I did I couldn't see the comments and I was like oh my god no way <laughs> so I mean if that happened, I think it's very, it's it's very clear that the fans are not happy. When when I first saw the characters like Miku, Dane, Luka, whatever, um, I was I was like mostly observing like how the LED screen looks compared to the holograms because I I experienced the holograms, and I gotta say, I do gotta say, I know some people said that oh the experience is you know still fun. But when I saw the LED screen, I don't think it's the same. I I did see a, a big difference in my... Well, I mean, I guess for some people it wouldn't be a big difference, but I know it is for me. I wanted to see the holograms again. So when I saw the difference, I was like, okay, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I still have fun. I still have fun uh, listening to the songs and dancing and doing all the crazy stuff, but it's not the same as the holograms. It's not, and it will. It will never be. I don't. It will never be. It will never be. And the difference is, in my opinion, I I think the LED screen. I want to say first. I want to say my experience in Miku Expo 2018. I was further away from from the screen, right? Uh, I was pretty far away. But when Miku came out along with everybody else, my gosh, the details. You could see every detail of her, like, body, her appearance, like, everything, her eyes. It was amazing. It was like, wow. And and the smoothness. The smoothness when they will, like, dance and move around. It was incredible. Like, the frames per second must have been crazy. Like, I don't know. Above, si above 60. Like, way above 60. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I could... I don't know. That's how it felt. It was very smooth. It was very smooth. I could see the details even if I even when I was very far away like I could see them very well with the LED screen though in in this concert it was not like that it, it felt it it did feel it did feel like a TV uh, the details weren't weren't they weren't there <laughs> like yeah you could see the characters but and I believe I was closer. I was much closer than in 2018, and even then, it wasn't the same. It was it was not the same. And uh, the smoothness when they would dance and move around was not there. I don't know why. I don't know the science of it. Okay, <laughs> I don't know the science of it. I just know it's. I'm I'm telling from my experience, it's not the same. And that was very underwhelming. Like <laughs> you will not believe it. But that's not the only thing. 
you, you see, the LED screen's one thing, but I think the the interactions, like the characters with the audience, when Miku was talking, I think it also had to do with the pacing. Like I said in the beginning, the pacing with the introduction was, it just, I'm pretty sure it was faster than 2018. Like, I'm pretty sure. Unless, I don't know. I don't know. But when Miku was talking, like, hi, hello, welcome to Miku Expo. I don't know. <laughs> um, Like, it was fun hearing her talk to us and everything, but didn't it didn't feel lively it felt it felt automatic like i don't want to say forced just automatic i don't know it just didn't feel that emotional to me i remember in 2018 i'm pretty sure i wanted to cry like i wanted to cry like it was so impactful for me but this one was the opposite <laughs> it was just not it mm. No, not it, not it, not it, not it. Oh my god, I just remembered something! Oh no! So, okay, by the end of the concert, Riku leaves, right? I forgot what song she sang. I think she sang Tell Your World, I think. Could be wrong. Before, like, she, I guess she leaves momentarily. So everybody in the audience was like, okay, this is the encore part, right? So everybody was saying, Miku, 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 for like a really long time. <laughs> and the concert was like really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where it was like very awkward. <laughs> I don't know, it felt really awkward to me because the audience was giving it their best, but we got nothing. And I was like, okay, well, let's be quiet then. And then I guess they started shouting again. And then it got quiet. <laughs> like it wasn't working. <laughs> so I guess we were just waiting for something, like for someone to tell us what to do. <laughs> and then suddenly, suddenly, they finally said, encore, encore, encore. <laughs> And then, and then Miku finally came out. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. That was really funny though. It, it felt like Miku really didn't, it, it felt like Miku did not want to come back. <laughs> and there was no sign, like, okay. Because if Miku, <laughs> there, was, there was like a, like words on the screen, like on the hologram saying like encore. I don't know what it said, it said something. Oh, also the band. The band was like anticipating it. And this one, <laughs> there was nothing. It was just all quiet. <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Miku, please come back. <laughs> Why are you leaving us? <laughs> Miku behind, behind the, the TV. <laughs> Miku behind the TV like, ugh. Do I really have to go back? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she throws the cigarette away. <laughs> Oh god, no, that was really fun. Actually, now that I think about it. Maiku finally comes back and she's like, I got, I got one last song for you. And then, I forgot which song is it. It was actually two encore songs, but. Oh my god. Oh boy, this, this concert was something. So, the general feel of it. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm very, by the end of the concert, I was feeling, well, when I was in the concert, I was feeling happy. I was, I was, I was looking at like you know the rest of the people, looking at their cosplays, and I wanted to take pictures of of the of you know with them. But I don't know. I just, I don't know if it was like the concert itself that made me like this, or I'm just naturally like I was just naturally being shy, and I just ended up not taking pictures with anybody. Oh, side note: while singing highlight, oh no, while singing highlight, um. I love that song and I already made a cover of that song. I kind of want to recover it because I, I actually don't really like the way I sang it. But anyway, so I sang it and I was like, ah, hello. <laughs> so, so somebody next to me was very kind enough to give me their light stick. And I was like, oh my gosh, you, did, you didn't have to. Thank you. So I was swinging it like crazy. Anyway, I'm, okay, I'm going off, I'm going off topic. Anyways, the, gen gen the general feel of it. So in the concert, I was okay. I was happy. I was like looking at everybody. And I took videos of, which I'm going to show, uh, videos of how the screen looks. And then um, when I left, when I left, I felt, that's where I started to really feel it. Like the underwhelming feeling of like, okay, no, <laughs> this isn't it. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, I'm not very happy about it, sadly. 
I really, I really wish it's because it's because you don't get it. I really wish this concert was like like the 2018 I had. I wish everybody experienced what I experienced in 2018. It felt like magical, and I I think well besides the interactions, I think the interactions were not that good. This will be my my advice to make quick. I don't know. Well, first, I think I think Miku shouldn't be the only one speaking to the audience. I I think the Kagamine should speak. I think I think Luca should speak. Like if the intention was to anticipate Luca, because I mean Luca is really popular. Yeah, they're all popular. Anyway, Luca is really popular. So I think everybody should, or or there should be like a conversation between. Miku and Luca, or Miku and the twins, or Meiko with Kaito, you know, like before they start the song. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, so every song, it felt like they were just moving on with every song. Like, this song finished, let's go to another song. This song finished, let's go to the other song. This song finished, like it just, it felt ironically, I guess, robotic. Miku Expo could have been, could have been way more. It, it could, it really could have been way more. It could have been more amazing and then especially since since miku expo 2020 like the online online live streams because you know of the pandemic that was going on i feel like the comeback should have really been a comeback like a big comeback of like i'm back guys i'm back i'm here with you in person and i'm here to sing along with the rest of my friends to sing with you guys right so i feel like that would have been so much awesome like imagine like miko giving a speech of like something like that i don't know like i would have felt i would have felt connected with her i would have felt like yes yes we're all here together as vocaloid fans to to dance and hear the music and feel together and i i did not feel together i mean okay no the vocaloid fans the, the vocaloid fans were very friendly which ah, dude this is like and this is why i wanted to take pictures and stuff because i wanted to i wanted to like make friends but at the same time i don't know i just i don't know so yes so i believe miku along with the rest of the gang <laughs> should have talked to us like the audience like vocally fans feel more togetherness and and holograms please miku expo please don't do the led screen i maybe it was a more cheaper option it could have been more cheaper option maybe that's why they did that but it's not the right choice and it it doesn't look good for the vocalites it's not it's not the representation the representation is the holograms like if they're gonna if they're gonna do led screens um sometime in the future i i think that should be more um a different event like i don't know i'm just i'm gonna put a, like a comic on i guess I, I don't know i don't know but the holograms that should be exclusively from the miku concerts or vocalite concerts it's something I I believe all Vocaloid fans, new fans, first time people should experience. It's it's nothing. It's it's very it's different. It's more amazing. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I really hope I didn't make you lose hope because I know like there's still Miku Expo Europe and we don't know if they're still gonna use all of these screens for that or not. Um, I hope not. I I hope somebody's like, you know what? Bring the holograms because we're gonna they're gonna have more back backlash. They will have more backlash. Um, I think like ninety percent of Oakley fans are not happy. So yes, that's my that was my experience with Miku Expo twenty twenty four. Like I said, I did have fun. The Vocaloid fans around me made it more fun. Not gonna lie, they were the energy. They were. The energy. Miku was not the energy. The Vocaloid fans were the energy. And yeah. So <sighs> I'm gonna be signed the whole day. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my I guess you could call it a rant. I I don't know. Um I think no encrypton, I think they will I think they will decide and for the future concerts that the, it's gonna be exclusively hologram. Cause it has to be. I'm not saying LED screens should disappear. I'm just holograms are the way. <laughs> they are the way for Vocaloids and Krypton and, you know. Anyways, okay, well. Thank you for watching. Bye!